हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन लैब इन लास्ट लैब वी हैव सीन द बी पी एस के मॉडलेसन एंड इन टूडे एक्सपेरिमेंट इज क्यू पी एस के डेट इज कॉड्रेचर फेस शिफ्ट की इन दिस लेस्ट फर्स्ट कम टू द ब्लॉक डाइग्राम हेयर यू कैन सी देर इज अ डिजिटल डेटा दैट कम्स टू इन सीरियल मोड दैट इज वन जीरो जीरो वन लाइक सीरियल डिजिटल डेटा वन जीरो बिट्स and uh, here uh, we are dividing it to odd bits and even bits that uh, we are selecting uh, two bits at a time because uh, we know that the qpsk is the basic extension of bpsk in bpsk we are sending a single bit at a time but in qpsk we are sing it, uh, sending uh, two bit at a time that's why uh, we are uh, consuming more time so the data rate uh, requ bandwidth required is reduced so we can accommodate more uh, more users in that that's why the that is the ben beneficial part of the qpsk so uh, there is in phase there is basically two bpsk signals one is in phase the second is quadrature phase so in in phase there is a uh, even bits we are and this is the simple bsk bpsk sorry and uh, this is the carrier that is multiplied as i have uh, already uh, shown in the bpsk experiment and here the face of this signal is converted by 90 degree and passed to the same carrier as passed by just face 90 degree that is if the carrier signal is passed through this psk first is sine wave then the carrier signal to pass to the psk q or quadrature is cos wave because this is 90 degree phase shift in this and both bpsk signals are added together to get the qpsk so let's see first in the trainer kit there is sequence generator and uh, you already know there is clock which i have given 8 kilohertz and uh, there is x and y two outputs one is uh, x y two outputs both are random bits that uh, and that is generated by this trainer kit so here what we have done it is 8 kilohertz signal has given to the clock of uh, this uh, sequence generator and same 8 kilohertz signal uh, has been given to the serial to parallel converter we are uh, converting the bits from serial to parallel because we required uh, two bits at a time so we are, uh, we are uh, just considering a uh, two bit pair pair so we are converting it serial to parallel and if we are converting serial to parallel by 2 to 2 bits uh, pair wise then we can use the qpsk so here i have uh, given this signal this uh, x signal which is uh, generated bits from this nrzl coding and uh, directly i have shown this on cro what we are getting press auto set and uh, yes so this is the generated signal this is channel first which is uh, x1 and uh, this is x2 these two two are uh, just this is even bits and this is odd bits so we are going to use these two bits for the bp uh, qpsk modulation so let's come to the block diagram of uh, this in this connection i have shown you already so the next thing in uh, the qpsk is to uh, just generate B, uh, bpsk signal from so here uh, till now we have generated digital signal data that is 1010 and uh, we have divided from a serial to parallel converter or we can say this is bit splitter in odd and even bits after that we have to generate the uh, psk uh, in phase signal and psk quadrature phase signal so to generate this we are using the multiplier and uh, we are um, just uh, multiplying the carrier frequency to, uh, carrier signal in first psk uh, bpsk one and we are giving uh, the uh, 90 degree phase shift then we are multiplying the second so in this uh, to just uh, n uh, give a phase a uh, phase of 90 degree phase shift we can use sine and cos here which is already available in this uh, trainer kit 
so if we are using sine for the carrier signal then cos is 90 degree phase shift as uh, with respect to the sine you know or the d so we are giving this so by this way we have given the 100 kilohertz sine wave and 100 kilohertz cos wave in first and the second and we have used the multiplier there is two multiplier at the simultaneously so first multiplier and second multiplier in multiplier input there is a uh, first input is the sine wave the second one is given from the output uh, serial to parallel converter output x2 and in second there is a cos cos of 100 kilohertz and the, and the second input is from the x1 which is serial to parallel converter i am uh, just uh, giving uh, the step by step and i can show you the result So you can see there is phase shift in this signal and uh, you can also see there is a phase shift in this, uh, in this signal also. So you can see from here that these two are basically the BPSK modulated signal which is a simple BPSK and from here we are uh, just going to combine these two to get the QPSK modulation signal. So to combine this, we are going to use adder. So here, this is adder block. In the, uh, this is two input of adder, and there is output. So we are going to see that. So I have given the multiplier first output to the adder first input and multiply second output to the adder second input so you have to uh, just uh, this is switch to control the gain of this adder so i have put uh, this uh, set this uh, at equal distance so we can get the equal signal from both the adders uh, multipliers so by this way you can see the qpsk modulated signal which is getting this way so you can see the difference between BPSK and QPSK here in BPSK you have seen that this signal goes to and the amplitude of both are going to the same and there is phase shift of 180 degree in this way there is phase shift in here and also phase shift here and the amplitude of uh, this signal is going uh, low so this is the QPSK modulated signal which I have shown you for the second part of this experiment that is demodulation of the QPSK signal let's see so for the demodulation of the sig uh, QPSK signal, there is QPSK input which is given to the multiplier which this is basically the uh, multiplier detector and uh, there we are multiplying the same carrier frequency which I have already used for the modulation of QPSK to synchronize the frequency and phase and after the uh, multi uh, multiplier detector we are passing through the tunable low pass filter and uh, you can he, by passing through the tuner, tunable low pass filter the signal will look like some uh, distortion will be there so we are using the comparator after tunable low pass filter to correct the our signal so here as you can see after adder there is QPSK signal we are going to give it uh, to detector so I have given the adder's output which is the QPSK signal to this third multiplier in first and the second input of this multiplier is from 100 kilohertz sine wave and we are getting the output of this multiplier to this is tunable low pass filter input then output directly has been shown on CRO and uh, as already said that there will be distortion in the output of this demodulated signal so this looks like this so to remove this distortion we have to use the comparator to get the correct signal so after tunable low pass filter we have given the output of tunable low pass filter to comparator of this uh, kit and the reference has been taken from the VCC this VCC can be controlled by this uh, the VCC can be controlled by this switch 
by adjusting the proper uh, this switch we are getting the exact signal so this is the output where we you can see this is not the same to get the same result you have to just set this switch at a proper by setting this uh, vcc control you can get the exact replica of input so in this way we can see we are can take the output from the x1 or x2 both will be same when we uh, you are taking the output from the x, x1 you will get the replica of x1 and after when you get will get the output from the x2 you will get the replica of x2 demoderated signal so by adjusting the vcc you can set so the demoderated signal is shown in the first signal. so what we have seen in this in the demodulation there is a QPSK signal and there is multiplier this multiplier is given by the same carrier signal which is already used in the modulation signal then this has been passed through the tunable low pass filter the tunable low pass filter uh, gain and frequency can also be controlled by uh, this this switch can be used for the controlling of gain and this switch can be used for controlling of frequency of tunable low pass filter so after passing it there will be distortion in the signal to avoid that distortion there is compar comparator has been used for uh, the uh, to get the correct result so this was the qpsk experiment which i have performed thank you